hi guys welcome to my youtube channel right and today we are going to be talking about why i need you yes you no matter how low-key or quiet you think you are to put out more content but before i start i mean before i start listing out the reasons why you need to put out more content do you know how difficult it is you know to watch a movie these days without fast forwarding or probably even abandoning the movie altogether because of the different kind of content that people are putting out these days yeah i mean i know i know you can relate you can hardly watch a movie these days without seeing a totally like lewd or totally totally what's the word now just just a pure sex scene or you know or like t stuff like you know that does that does not agree with our values and I just think that that's why it's important, you know, for you as a Christian, you know, to put out more content. And I'm not even saying that rent out a whole studio and start making films. No, I'm saying from little things, you know, from sharing more pictures on Instagram, from putting out tweets or threads on Twitter, we need, the world needs your lights, right? And, you know, so that's what today's, like, today's episode is going to be about. So I'm going to list out reasons, you know, why. I've already said it, the world needs your lights, right? And then people need what you're posting. I know that it might seem like somehow to you, I mean, that someone will probably be able to relate with what you learn, but there is a reason why you're unique. There is a reason why there's a reason why you have like different experiences and even from just reading maybe from from just seeing like maybe an IG reel that you put out someone can just be encouraged so I remember when I mean and probably we're probably going to talk about this you know in subsequent like videos but I remember when I was struggling you know with masturbation and I watched a YouTube video right and the person was saying oh how God helped them overcome it and it was from that video right that I got my deliverance and it's been over five years now and I can't even remember the last time I felt you know the urge from content that somebody put out so now let me even tell you like the ripple effect of that so after like I got delivered and you know I like I literally got delivered from the addiction so I put out a tweet it was on Twitter and I wrote like oh I used to be addicted to you know pornography and masturbation and and, and, and I put it out and then you know the tweet went viral some people said eh, eh, what's she talking about of course people would it's Twitter people would talk and it was I think years later it was earlier this year someone just sent me a random message you know on Twitter saying hi for last year day I don't know if you remember but I read this you know post you put out on overcoming lust and addiction and I like I read that and since then I've been free followed like the tips you shared and all of that so what I'm saying, I mean, the long and short of what I'm saying is that people need your content, right? People need your lights. You can't, I know, like, because it's you, and, and, and I feel like that's the place that, like, a lot of, like, us make mistakes because it's your life up close and personal. You probably don't think, you know, there is anything that anyone can learn from you. But the truth is that people need your lights. People's lives have been changed by random stuff that people put on, on the internet. Another example, when I was, I think I was in uni, and it was on Facebook then. Facebook was like very popular among amongst our age range. And there was just this couple, you know, that just used to share. There was this couple that used to share stuff like before they met, how they met and all of that. And I mean, coming from coming from like where I grew up and the type of families I grew up with, I was just used to seeing couples fight and all of that. But just looking at them online, it just gave me a different, you know, type of a different type of reality and i just felt like okay if these people and they were not even in nigeria they were just sharing random stuff right and i was like if these people can have a solid marriage and if this person this woman because it was a woman and she used to talk a lot about you know how she was able to wait and i was like if this woman can wait then it means that i can wait too i'm telling you on facebook and that was how i just started okay making a list of things i wanted you know in whoever it was it is that will you know be my husband she gets and from that and today, look at me now, because somebody shared, right? Okay, so I'm going to give you a last example. There's this group that um, Pastor Mori or Shumakinde used to, Babes Redefined. And you know, people, different people will come, different women, it was a women's group. They will come, they will come and share things. Oh, that this was this one, like different experiences. And some women actually had like oral stories to share, how they married the wrong people. And, and I started reading, and I was, I think I was like 19 or 18, 
But because those people shared, like I, I just you know started learning from their experiences, and I just knew that character is really important because most of the things that those women posted were like character flaws that they saw before. Do you understand? But they didn't pay attention to me because the guy was nice or he had money or something. And from little things that people shared like that, so I'm saying all of this. I've given three examples for you to know that people need what you know. They need what you carry. That's number two. Number one thing I said was that the world has its own agenda, right? So you cannot afford to be quiet. See? Second thing is that people need what you know. I've given three examples already to buttress that. The third thing will be that it's literally a commandment in God's word that we are to shine right the bible says that we are a city set upon a hill and we shouldn't be hidden so god is calling you to shine so regardless of whatever it is that your limitations are i'm asking you shine anyway like shine share even if it's just a twitter thread even if it's just a picture and you're going to put a caption on that it's even if it's a real you just never know who is going to be blessed by what you're sharing so those are the reasons i've given you right for you to shine your light and for you to share you know more content because guy the world is a dark place and yeah they need a light and i feel like i've said enough of that so i'm getting, okay so maybe the question on your mind now is oh how am i going to how am i going to start or maybe oh you're wondering okay yeah okay for last day you can say oh you can you can say oh share and all of that because maybe you're a content person and all of that but i didn't nobody starts out a content person so i'll give three tips right why i think three tips that i think will be helpful number one start with what you have if you go on IG, I'm on IG as for Lashade underscore Daini. If you go on IG and you go down, down, down to so like my 2017 posts, my posts were, I mean, I, think, I don't even think I had an iPhone at that time. I just had an Android and I would just take picture and put, <laughs> if you even check, you find some very funny designs that I did with my phone then. Can't even remember the app that I was using, but it was just on my heart to share. And I didn't allow the fact that I didn't have all the gadgets that I have now. And even now, well, it's not like I have a lot of gadgets. If I don't have my rent here, yeah, so, <laughs> so yeah. So I, I just started with what I have. So I'm saying, start with what you have. If what you have is a phone, start with it. Do you understand? Even if it is not an iPhone, just start sharing. And by the time you start sharing, right, people will see what you are, you know, sharing, and they will be blessed. So that's number one. Then number two, be bold, <laughs> guys. There is nobody. Okay. <laughs> so when we when we're in school right and they say okay there was this time let me let me give you this example there was this time when we're in school and we had vivals um veterinary school if you're a medical student you probably know what vivals are and then the lecturer the biochemistry professor he asked me oh what is i remember very clearly because i had no idea what is krebs cycle and i in fact my i didn't know so i was like oh i was like okay and like, this is what you're going to do I was like, oh, okay, sir, Krebs cycle is a cascade of events. Very confidently, with all boldness. I did not know it, but <laughs> the man said, mm, calm down, calm down, wait, 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 don't bobo me. <laughs> and more like the man knew that maybe students that really don't know stuff are the ones that are the boldest. Why did I give you that example? It's because even people that do not have as many values as you have, right, they are sharing stuff. People that do not, they are out there creating content. Orishi, orishi, content, right, that they are creating. But you, child of God, right, with all the values you are keeping quiet, influence belongs to the board. Not be me talking, na pastor lad you talking, but it is true. A lot of people that have influence on social media is not because they are perfect or have, they have perfect lives. No, it's just because they have chosen that, they have de decided that they have a voice and they are going to use it. So I'm asking you, be bold speak clearly people will drag you that one forget just just admit that they are going to drag you but you need to be bold because lives are at stake people are literally dependent on your ability to speak out even on sensitive issues so i said number one start with what you have if you have even if it's an iphone you have even if you don't have an iphone start recording videos if you go to my my old videos god i'm, I'm usually just embarrassed when i'm looking at it like and what was this like <laughs> what was this but even at that time, there were people that were blessed by it. Do you understand? So start with what you have. Don't delay. The num second thing I said is be bold. Influence belongs to the bold. So speak your mind boldly. They drag you. Call your dragon in peace. Even Jesus, they dragged him. So what are we talking about? Then the, the third thing is, you can also pray about it, right? Because, okay, so let me give you an example now. And don't, okay, don't wait for, don't wait for perfect circumstances. So let me give you this example. And I feel like that don't wait and pray, like, will come together, right? So t I decided that, I just decided that I was going to start my YouTube channel today. If it was about, like, waiting, you know, for, waiting for the right circumstance, today is, like, the worst of all days in quotes. 
there's no lights currently we are running on gen then my period is there to show and i have cramps in fact i had cramps at, at the beginning of this right and what else a lot of things a lot of things were just scattered so if you want to say that oh you want to wait for the perfect time it will never come but i was just and you know in, in, and then i had wahala at work again that i had to sort so in the midst of all of that i just felt a nudge in my heart and then i prayed and then i prayed right and I just, I just I had this joy in my, in my, in my spirit, and then it just came and helped me. Do you understand? So I'm saying, don't wait till it's perfect. Just start with what you have. I don't think you ever even get, you know, any perfect circumstance. And also pray. God is the one who has called. Actually, if you have like this skin desire to help people, to talk to them. God is the one who has placed this on, on your heart, right? And He really wants you to. So you can pray, and also don't wait. If you have the if you have the instruction, if you have the knowledge in your heart, and even if you don't have, I'm sure that what I'm saying now is going to help you have your the nudge right so just you know so just start pray number one um be bold number two mm, yeah yeah i feel like i'm mixing the ball yeah number one um people need what you know be bold pray and then start with what you have i feel like that's that what you was even number one so just before we get to the end of this episode i'd like to spotlight a community member this was an idea i got from my namesake and yellow is also who also creates content but i would like to spotlight one of us who despite like all the limitations is putting out content encouraging you know other believers and other single people right and drum rolls her name is precious she also has a youtube channel so you guys can check her out right precious you're doing amazing she has been a keen like follower like she follows me on ig she's a member of our godly dating community even though like she's in abuja but you know she's been following us and then she's just someone i know that she doesn't have all the equipment right but she's putting out content she's encouraging people and would we'll, you know we'll do this at every episode right where we spotlight like members of so if you if you are doing anything i mean if you're doing anything related to whatever it is um, whatever topic that i talk about you know in any episode just feel free to drop a comment you know to let me know i will check you out and then i'll let you know and then i would you know mention your name in whatever episode that what you're doing you know relates with i don't know if that is clear but if it's what i'm just basically saying is that whatever it is that you're doing related to the content that you know we put out any day just let me know just drop it in the comment section so guys we are at the end of i mean today's episode and i just want to ask you what do you think is stopping you yes you from putting out content are you shy or you know are you afraid of what people are going to say or is it the equipment drop a comment in the you know comment section and let me know i'll be there to respond and to encourage you and even if you need like directions i'm happy to help i mean i'm a content marketer and then a content creator so i think i have you know a few tips that you know i can assist you with so thank you guys thank you for watching thank you for staying till the end you know of this wonderful wonderful um episode but you know that whatever it is that whatever it is that you've heard here would not be complete until you start remember somebody needs what you carry so start if you have any questions like i said just drop it and then i'll pick it up and answer you bye guys thank you